We are here at the Sludanka train station because today is the day we go to Kirov to see Lars. And we will be on the Trans-Siberian Railroad for three days. It is uh, almost May 9th in a couple of days. So you can see the decorations here are in full, full effect. Are you ready to go, Senya? Yes. <laughs> yeah, you look ready to go to warmer places. Let's see the train. All right, guys, it's time to go to Kirov to see Survival Russia, Lars. Bye bye, Sludanka. Das vidanya. All right, here we go. All right, guys, I'm gonna give you a quick tour on our setup here on the train. Senya is there. Uh, I gave her the bottom bunk, although I wanted her to take the top because the top is more comfortable. The way that this is set up is there's four here on this side. You have the top, top, and then bottom, bottom. I've shown you this setup when I've taken the trip to Mongolia, and I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you the setup here. So as you can see, the bottom bunk is for Senya and I'm on top. And the reason why I tell you guys that the bottom is not the best is because people are always walking constantly to the bathroom. So Senya being smaller, it would be much better for her to be on the top. And the reason why I'm telling you that being traveling on the side here on the class three is the best option is because you don't have to share anything with anyone. There's four people here. And please take my advice if you're going to travel inside of Russia and you're going to take the Trans-Siberian with two people, this is the best option. <laughs> you have a crumb on your lips, Anya. All right, so let's go outside. This is the first stop and we're in Irkutsk. Let's go. Okay, guys, we're at the Irkutsk station. Uh, there up there, it says Irkutsk. And the train station, the color is really nice. But we're going back to the train because it's windy and Senya's getting cold. Look at this. Go, go, go. And this is how we travel. All right, we made it to the city of Zima. And uh, everything looks like it's melting on this side of Russia. Where we're from, everything is still frozen. I saw a lot of rivers, a lot of lakes, and I just want to go fishing. Can't wait to get to Lars. I guess it's six degrees, it's 20.05, and we're in the city of Zima. And the weather is great. Now it's time to get back on the train and just uh, continue the road. I will be recording from as many uh, train stops as possible as long as I'm awake. Uh, I plan on staying awake through the night to sleep during the day. But uh, we'll see what happens. I hope you're enjoying this. Traveling with us all the way across Siberia. I'll make some uh, soups. Senya is going to have the green and I'll have the red. I guess this is going to be lunch, lun a lunch date. Let's go get that warmed up. I'm going to prepare it. So I can throw the trash away. I don't like this. I'll just do the powder. And I'll get Senya's ready too. Do you want, do you want the powder and the other stuff? No, uh, vegetables I don't like. You don't like this mm -hmm. either? Yes. Oh, that's why we're together. <laughs> All right, let's go. You have to make sure to put the corner in first, guys. Senya doesn't know how to do it, obviously. <laughs> Kidding. All right. After we're done eating, I'm gonna show you the sunset and then we're gonna 
just stay away through the night. If we see any cities, I'll make sure to get off and record that for you. After you leave Siberia, there's not a lot of mountains and so the terrain looks beautiful in Western Russia. You get to see a lot of rivers zigzagging all over the place. And then you go into small villages like this where the sun is setting behind them. It's very picturesque. I hope that one day you all have the opportunity to come to these lands and travel. We made it to Krasnoyarsk. Uh, this is probably the first large city we made it to. Aside from Irkutsk, yes, I believe it is true. And after this, we should be heading to Novosibirsk. Some of these cities we will be visiting on the way back, so you get to see them more in detail. And uh, yeah, this is officially uh, going to be our first day on the train, our in, uh, an entire day. We have one hour in Krasnoyarsk. I'm going to show you a little bit about the train station. But this is the first sight as you get off the train. If you notice, there's a mosaic there on the left, and this is the front of the station. We're going to go look at that mosaic. It looks very, very nice, this train station. Here we have a closer look. Now, I don't know what's happening. It might be the revolution of 1917 on the left. Lenin and his boys signing some sort of contract there on the table. Beautiful. Outside the train station, you can get all sorts of transportation. And now it's time to go back to the train. Let's go, Senya. We're at the station in Achinsk. Just making a quick stop. The weather's still very nice. Nice and warm still, maybe four or five degrees. A very modern train station. This train station is very very modern but we have something cool here i just love looking at the architecture of every different train station that we ever rolled into tell me which one's your favorite it's about five in the afternoon and we've made it to marinsk and i saw a train behind there like those old trains so we're gonna go look at him let's go let's go It's getting windy and we're just uh, coming in to see the the wagon here, the locomotive machine and now we're just going back. This is the back of the train station. Um, we will be heading towards Novosibirsk. You can see how clean it is here. Looks really nice. The weather's awesome. We made it to Novosibirsk. Senya Grumpy Pants hasn't taken uh, hasn't gone to the bathroom and we're gonna go check out the train station we look super dirty haven't showered we've taken military showers where you wipe down um, but everything's good let's see how this train station looks here's some really cool great Great patriotic war stuff. Beautiful. And a more modern guy. All right, let's go. Wow, look at the ceiling is on this. It's a hammer and sickle. Beautiful train station, no CBS. They have these hammer and sickles all on the staircase. It's the small details. So it really is those small details with the city of Novosibirsk. As we left during the night, I saw a lot of skyscraper style buildings with so much lights on them. And we crossed the bridge and got to see the river shining on the bottom. It was brilliant. Hi guys, we are in the city of Tumen. Tumen, something like that. And it's actually maybe more than 25 degrees out here. The birds are singing. This air is really, really warm. Uh, this is the first time we felt over 20 degrees in about six or seven months. And we're going to be chilling here in the city uh, at the train stop. We're going to go get something to eat. And I'll turn the camera around so you can see how nice it looks. Nice and green. Nice little birds everywhere. It's so clean. It really is beautiful. 
Although the train station is of modern type, it is not like the other ones we've seen in the past, right? Uh, but it's, it's not bad at all. It's so clean and beautiful. This is the first city where we're actually just very warm. Now we're gonna go get something to eat. It really is like summer. Senia is enjoying summer in May because where we're from, it is frozen still. Let's go. And we're at a shop. And you know this is the best. Check it out. USSR flavor. On the second full day, uh, on the way to Yekaterinburg, it was really, really nice. The so the scene had changed everything was green people were farming their lands and honestly by that night when we got to Yekaterinburg the weather was absolutely perfect we're here in Yekaterinburg Okay, well, this is going to be the end of the second day, the full day. We're at the city of Yekaterinburg. Uh, we got something to eat. We're going to go back to the train and tomorrow will be about uh, 14 hours and then we'll be with Lars. Um, yeah, it's been a crazy ride, but so far the views have been amazing. Good morning. It is five. Today uh, is the third day of travel. We will be uh, getting to Quito in a few hours. Uh, how are you feeling, Senya? I'm tired. <laughs> yeah, I'm tired too, actually. I like, um, you know, it's three days of travel is okay, I guess. I can't imagine going from Irkutsk to Moscow just because that extra day is probably going to kill us. Uh, but this is just training for the day that we go from Vladivostok to Moscow. <laughs> um, so right now it's five in the morning. We're going to stop for 30 minutes in uh, Perm. And so we're going to get back on the train. Kirov is one of the last big stops before we get to, to Lars and yeah we're just gonna go play some games and I hope you're enjoying these clips of us coming into the cities and leaving the cities. Just leaving the city of Perm. It's an awesome city that uh, honestly is on the banks of one of the largest rivers I've ever seen in real life. It was very wide as you can see from that previous shot and you know I wouldn't mind coming visiting this city. What do you think? Yeah, I think it's gonna be good. It's so warm. Yeah, it's it was at five in the morning when we arrived and like I said we were out in shorts and short sleeve shirts and it wasn't that uh, cold at all. It felt like those summer mornings out in Sludanka, but this is May, so it's very interesting. Okay, update, we've made it to the city of Kirov, which means that we only have a few hours left until we get to our final destination. And I'll tell you right now, the weather outside looks still warmer than where we come from. And I must also add that the buildings here look way different, just from looking at them, way different than the ones in Irkutsk and the ones that I'm used to seeing in the Siberian territory. Kirov. Kirov. We're 10 minutes away from getting off the train to seeing Lars. The next shot's gonna be us getting off the train and seeing him. It's gonna be awesome.
As you can see, we've made it to Gostovsky. Uh, I'll say it is wet, like it rained, but it's not cold. Obviously, I have my uh, my jacket on, and it may continue to rain, but it's actually very warm. Let's go look for Lars. <laughs> All right, we made it. Juliet, welcome to Lowell. <laughs> That's what I said. She said, hey, we're almost there, but I don't see anything. I said, yeah, we're going nowhere. We're That's going nowhere. It's just forest, forest. As you can see, we changed our clothes. Last night, before we went to sleep, we spent some time in the banya after three days of showering. Well, how was the shower? Oh, it was good. <laughs> yeah, she was definitely excited to get water on her body, clean herself, and... Um, we are actually in the tent uh, and we set it up and the reason why I have the, the stove on here uh, is because we're going to be cooking some super soup with beans. So Senya, you can show them the super soup and the beans. Really cool. We got some bread that we're going to eat with it and we're basically going to cook it over the stove here uh, to warm this up. And I wanted to thank everybody who joined us on this journey. I know that I didn't have a lot of content as far as the stops. But uh, to be honest, the Trans-Siberian Railroad, when you're on the train for three days, there's not a lot of stops um, that are over five minutes, let's say. Only major cities are the ones with stops. And we kind of showed you what we could. I hope you enjoyed that. Let's get some Senya reactions. We already know that I've crossed uh, Russia on the Trans-Siberian, but this is actually Senya's first time as an adult crossing, so it's a big difference. How did you feel? It was long, but not so bad. We made it. I think this will be more worse. <laughs> okay, yeah. And the reason I thought it was going to be worse for her too is because when we go to Mongolia, she gets lightheaded and she doesn't enjoy it so much, but you know traveling with two people this long can be hard and it felt way shorter than when i went alone so i'm very happy that you came with me and if you enjoyed this trip uh, i will be making more videos about us going into old russian houses looking for soviet artifacts uh we will be making videos outside with the uh with the tank with lars and just leave some comments down below i know that this was a different style of video it wasn't so uh so much action because there's not a lot of stops that are so long in Russia when you're crossing in the Trans-Siberian. So we'll see you on the next one.